last week, um, over 275 of our members voted to authorize a strike that is scheduled to start on November 2nd at 5.30 a.m. We've been negotiating with first student at these three bus yards since June. Now, over that time, our members have started the school year, continued to drive kids in the communities to where they need to be. Throughout the pandemic, our members have made sure that people are traveling safely, both during COVID and during this entire 30-month pandemic. But during our negotiations with First Student, we have not seen an agreement that meets the needs of our membership. Many of our members are only guaranteed 20 hours a week and only make around $450. That is not enough to live. It's not enough to raise a family. It's not enough to provide the essentials that essential workers like these deserve. And so I'm gonna invite two of our members to speak as to the reasons why they've made this choice and why we're holding First Student accountable. First Student is a global corporation, not based here in the United States. It's made billions of dollars in profit. And we need to make sure that essential workers like these, Rhode Islanders, provide essential services to children into the community are treated with the respect and dignity they deserve. 